Michael Hurwich here for creativecow.net. In this tutorial we're going to look briefly at the new graphite modeling tools in 3ds Max 2010 and in particular at the generate topology tool. So here we are in 3ds Max 2010. Here we have our new graphite modeling tools and here we have the polygon modeling tools and here we have the generate topology. Now you'll notice that all of this is grayed out right now because we don't have any geometry to work on. So let's go ahead and create a sphere. And I'll just maximize that. So here we have a sphere. I'll take this into hidden line. Now if I go to the polygon modeling, still the generate topology is grayed out because this needs an editable poly to work on. But we do have the convert to poly and apply edit poly modifier here. So I'll just apply an edit poly modifier. And now the generate topology becomes available. And notice that over here we have the edit poly modifier. And we could just as well have done this in the traditional way, namely click here and go down and find the Edit Poly modifier. But you may find it a little bit more convenient just to do it right here. Now let's click on Generate Topology. So here we have the Topology dialog. And let's bring up the help file on that. In this tutorial we're just going to use bricks generates a brick topology. It requires one edge to be selected and the direction of the edge determines which way is up on the bricks. And it works only if the selected edge is within a quad topology. This is a quad topology. Each one of these has four sides. But we have to go in and select an edge. Now the traditional way to do that would be to be in the Modify tab here, open up the Edit Poly and go to Edge. And you can still do that. But another way to go about it is over here in the Polygon Modeling tab. And here we have Vertex, Edge, Border, Polygon, and Element. Same things that we have over here. Again, it may be just a little bit more convenient for you to select it here. So I'll just select Edge. And notice that it goes down to edge over here as well. So I want to select which direction is going to be up. So I'll click an edge pointing up and down. And now the brick topology is right here and just click on that. And it turns this into a brick pattern. Now if I render at this point, nothing has changed. It still looks like a perfectly round sphere. I haven't actually changed the shape of the object. I've just changed the underlying geometry. So now I can get out of this topology dialog. So in order to make these bricks visible, I'm going to use some graphite modeling tools. So these are all my edge tools. I want to go to the polygon level. So I'll just click that right here. And I'm just going to hit Control A in order to select all the polygons. Now I have a Polygons tab here with a Bevel option. But you can also click this little downward facing triangle. It brings up the Bevel settings. And here we have the Bevel Polygons dialog. Now I want to bevel by polygon, not the whole group of polygons, but each individual polygon. So I click by polygon, and I can actually do my beveling right here as well too. So bevel to a certain height, and now the outline I'm going to make negative. So it actually pulls in the top of that bevel a little bit on each one, and then click OK. And now when I render that, you see those bricks appearing. So that is a quick introduction to the Generate Topology dialog and the graphite modeling tools.